Morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. If you have a health challenge, folks, if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative health issue of any kind, please understand you don't need to be suffering. The nature of the body is to reverse and to heal breakdown. It's a healing system. The human being could not have survived hundreds of thousands or millions of years. The human body in its shape today is a two million year, year old organism that has been highly refined, fine tuned to heal and recover. If we're not healing and recovering, something's wrong. We're missing something. The wrong thing's getting into the system and it has nothing to do with doctors or drugs or surgery or anything in the medical model. The medical model is not about reversing degenerative disease. It's never happened, it will never happen in response to surgeries and, and, uh, and pharmaceutical medicine. This is not the way medicine works. It's a con job. If you are taking a prescription drug or you are interacting with the medical model in hopes of reversing your arthritis or your autoimmunity or your Alzheimer's, which we'll talk about here today, or anything else, you are barking up the wrong tree. It is not going to happen. But it doesn't matter because we can do it ourselves. This is the good news. This is the bright side. The human body is a healing system. We simply have to access and leverage that healing chemistry. And this is where nutritional nutrition and nutritional supplementation come in. Is it the only thing we need to do? No. Healing is multidimensional. Health is multidimensional. Spiritual, mental, emotional, physical. In that order. Spiritual means connectedness. However you want to describe it or define it, it means connected. Unspiritual means unconnected. The word sin means unconnected. Disconnected, separate. The sense of separation that underlies how we live our lives, whether it's separation from divinity, the divine force, from nature, separation from each other, this needs to be addressed. And by the way, from a quantum physics perspective, which is really the, the most fundamental science there is, the most fundamental physics there is, separation is how it is. There is no disconnection. Everything is connected. It's an illusion that we're separated. Medicine operates on what's called mechanical physics, on, a, on the theories of mechanical physics. That is, uh, has, is an, an anachronistic understanding of how the world works. Mechanical physics is based on what we can see. However, it's what we can't see. The visible is always preceded by the invisible. And power comes from the preceding event. Power comes from the invisible, the quantum, which is where nutrition works, which is where we work, which is where consciousness works, which is where thinking works, which is where emotions and feelings work. The good news is, is that this is all in our control, and we can show you, we can help you how to, we can help you understand how to leverage what's already in our systems, what's already in our healing, healing and regenerating, re, regenerating bodily systems. 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with a long-term chronic degenerative health issue, even if you're dealing with something minor like acne or eczema or rosacea, all of these things are reversible. If we know what to do, let us help you. Let us help you help yourselves or help loved ones or family members or workmates. 844 236 6010 is our number. 
And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. All right, I want to talk a little bit, I want to continue talking about vitamin E, but I want to talk about vitamin E as a member of a family. We kind of touched on this yesterday. It's a family of vitamins, like all the fatty vitamins are members of a family of vitamins. There's a family of retinoids. Those are the vitamin A's. There's a family of vitamin K's. There's a family of vitamin D's. And there is a very significant family of vitamin E's. More significant in the sense that the two major components of the vitamin E family, the tocopherols and tocotrienols, are a little bit different. And they have slightly different effects. The tocotrienols, that's the Cadillac of vitamin E. Not that the tocopherols aren't important. The tocotrienols, are, they're rare. They're not found in a lot of foods, not like the tocopherols. The tocopherol part of vitamin E, those are found everywhere. The tocotrienols, they're not found everywhere, and they're not found in high amounts. That's why we didn't even know about them until the last maybe 20 or 30 years. The tocotrienols are pretty much limited to just seed, uh, just the seeds because they're so, so, so high-powered. They're like the nuclear bomb of antioxidants for a plant. Remember, a seed, is, creates, is, is, uh, a seed makes all of these antioxidant compounds to protect the fats in the seed. Seeds are loaded with fats. The tocotrienols are like the heavy weaponry. The tocopherols are like bullets and guns. The to tocotrienols are like the nuclear bombs for destroying oxidants. They're both important. They're both helpful. And what all this means is, by the way, if you're subsisting on the standard American diet, which is low in tocopherol-containing foods and tocotrienol-containing foods, you're very likely to be deficient. In fact, if you're not supplementing with vitamin E, you are probably deficient. You can assume you're deficient, at least in the amounts of vitamin E that you need for good health. So is it any wonder that we would be suffering from a lot of health challenges that are at least partially vitamin E the, uh, driven by at least partially by vitamin E deficiency? No. So tocopherols are the first ones that we discovered. It is the predominant form of vitamin E that's in our blood. But the deluxe form, the tocotrienols, those can do a, you, you get a lot of benefit from those tocotrienols, especially, especially when it comes to protecting your blood, especially when it comes to anti-cholesterol effects. In fact, the tocotrienols can be thought of at least, well, you can think of them as a natural statin drug because they actually will work at the, at the chemistry level where statin drugs work. Statin drugs work by poisoning the body's ability to make cholesterol. That's why they're poisons, and that's why, and literally, I'm not being figurative here, I'm not being metaphorical. They poison the liver cell, or really, they poison all cells, where at the, at the cholesterol production level. That's how they keep the body from making uh, cholesterol. But vitamin E does it in, in a natural way. Tocotrienols, that is, not so much the tocopherols. The tocotrienols actually work at that same cholesterol manufacturing level where the statin drugs work, but they do it in a non toxic way. They actually trick the cell. Tocotrienols actually kind of look sort of like cholesterol, at least to the cell, and so the cell doesn't make any. It interprets the presence of tocotrienols as a sign that it doesn't need to make any more cholesterol. This is a natural anti-cholesterol strategy. Vitamin E, all vitamin E will protect cholesterol as well. Tocopherols, tocotrienols, they'll protect cholesterol that's there. This is the dirty little secret of the anti-cholesterol industry. They don't tell you so much. They always blame cholesterol. Oh, your cholesterol levels are low. Your cholesterol levels are high. Your LDL is where it should be. Your HDL, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter HDL and LDL. It doesn't matter unless you're a statistician or unless you're selling drugs, or unless you're a boneheaded medical professional. It doesn't matter to the patient. It doesn't matter HDL. People die of heart, uh, of heart attacks all the time with perfect HDLs, with great HDLs, with high HDLs, and they live long, long lives with high LDLs. So, you, you know, it, LDL, by the way, is very important for the immune system. So you can't, these numbers, these statistics, these ways of dividing cholesterol, HDL, and LDL, and they're, they're, HDL isn't even cholesterol. It's a lipoprotein, high-density lipoprotein. It is not cholesterol. So HDL isn't even cholesterol. HDL is a carrier of cholesterol. It's a bubble that carries cholesterol. All right, we'll continue this discussion when we come back from our break, and we'll talk about how it all involves Alzheimer's disease. And Alzheimer's dementia, another tragic health challenge so many people are dealing with is unnecessary. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Thank you 
for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You can also head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Check out our blog posts, uh, which we uh, will post pretty much every week. There's also a newsletter you can sign up for at criticalhealthnews.com. And, of course, you can purchase any of the Longevity products right off the website or by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you're inter- interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, no preservative, no fragrance, no oil, no silicon, no wax, no filler, no nothing, but retinol, vitamin C, and in my transdermal penetrating matrix, which allows the retinol and vitamin C to be delivered to the skin in a sustained release, timed release, long-term fashion throughout the day. You can check it out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, 442366010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you, so... Uh, Now's the time to call in, 844-236-6010. So the, well, uh, the most well-known class of vitamin E is the tocopherols. The tocotrienols are the deluxe form. It's very likely if you're not listening to this program that you haven't heard of tocotrienols. Most people have not, although that's changing because it's becoming more and more recognized that these things are super powerful. The tocotrienols are especially important for lowering cholesterol in a natural fashion. Not that cholesterol is necessarily a problem. It's the reason why cholesterol levels go up that is more of a problem than the cholesterol itself. The cholesterol elevation is a sign. It's not a problem. It's a sign of the problem. And this is really the quintessential example of why medicine is ridiculous. It treats the signs, not the problem. And it does it because it's based on science that's hundreds of years old, maybe even thousands of years old. Certainly. Uh, hundreds where we treat the symptoms. That's how doctors would all, have always done it. Why? Because they didn't know what was causing things until 100, 150 years ago. We didn't really understand the body. But modern medicine is a vestige. It's an, it's an anachronism. It's a, from a time gone by. It's based on an understanding of the body that is antiquated, that doesn't take into account how breakdowns occur. So we treat, sim- we treat signs and symptoms like cholesterol elevated cholesterol. Now, I should tell you, and I've said this before, there is a version of cholesterol called oxycholesterol, which is a rancid cholesterol. Remember, fats, cholesterol is a fat, and fats go rancid. Now you're talking here about a problem. Oxycholesterol, oxidized, rancid cholesterol, that can be a problem. In addition to the fact that uh, you're secreting a lot of cholesterol because your blood sugar's off mostly, that's the major reason, the oxycholesterol, the byproduct of cholesterol, that can be a problem. And this is why you want to be careful about cooking your eggs too much or about cooking them at all, for that matter. Raw eggs are the way to go. Organ meats, cooking over cooking organ meats, those are rich in cholesterol. Dairy, cooking with dairy, it's probably not a good idea to cook with dairy. Cooking with these things, cooking with fats, cooking with oils, that's where we run into a problem. That's why coconut oil and butter are so important, because they're stable to, to heat, relatively stable to heat. Oc- coconut oil is, is, until you heat it, it's co- perfectly stable. It's a saturated fat, as is butter. Coconut oil can sit on your shelf for a long time. It's not going to go rancid. Now, eventually it will, over the course of years probably, but it takes a long time. So if you're really interested in lowering cholesterol, lower your sugar, lower your blood sugar. If you want nutrition, if you want to use nutrition to lower, help lower your cholesterol, tocotrienols, and you'll have to go out of your way to find them. Now, talked about Alzheimer's disease a little bit here. Well, guess what? Vitamin E's fat-protecting effects, vitamin E's antioxidant effects, and when we say antioxidant, you know, sometimes we're really glib about what that really, about using that phrase. We don't talk about what that really means. Antioxidant is like a, uh, an antioxidant is like an electrical dampening system. It, it sucks up excess energy. It mops up excess energy. It's a sponge, an energy sponge, electrical energy sponge. That's what an antioxidant is, really. Now, there's, it, the chemistry is absolutely fascinating, and it is a quantum effect. I'm not going to get into too much of that, but th- this is where medicine completely is lost. 
the anti